Euclid's division lemma. Now, here, the name is uh, kind of confusing. It might sound complicated, but it's actually very, very simple. This is something, as the name suggests, it goes, it's got everything to do with divisibility of uh, integers or it's based on division. Now, we will learn about this in our four favorite languages, words, variables, numbers and diagrams and it will be so comprehensive yet so easy that there will be no question left unanswered. So let's begin. To understand this division or this division lemma, let's look at a real life example first. Let's take, uh, assume that there are seven chocolates, take three at a time and put it into boxes. So you will get uh, three, three and one chocolate will be left out. So there will be two boxes and one chocolate will be left out. Now, how will you represent this particular scenario using division? Very simple, right? Using basic division, which all of you know, this the scenario which I just gave you can easily be represented as seven chocolates. You have to take three at a time. So I can write seven by three equal to two with a reminder of one. Now here, seven is called the dividend as all of you know. Three is called divisor. 2 is called the quotient and 1 is the reminder. So this is very basic division. That is why since in, in this particular discussion, uh, what I'm going to do here is these are things which all of you know. We are just giving it a different name. Now let's look at one more example so that it's becoming very clear. Let's look at one more scenario. If I change instead of 7 chocolates, if we have 9 chocolates and if you want to put 2 in a box, Two per box, two chocolates per box. How many boxes will be there? One, two, three, four. If I put two each and one chocolate will still be left out. And how will you write this division? As all of you know, right? It's, it's very simple. I'm, I'm not teaching you anything here. So you will write nine, which is a dividend by since it's two per box, you'll take nine by two. You'll get the answer or the quotient as four and the remainder as one. So this there is one more way to write this rather than writing it like this division you can write it as 9 equal to 2 which is which was the divisor into 4 where 4 was the quotient plus 1 so it's just a different representation of the same thing that is 9 can be written as 9 equal to 2 into 4 plus 1 now in this case 9 is the dividend 2 is the divisor 4 was the quotient and 1 is the reminder. Now, instead of using numbers, if I replace it by variables, let's take instead of 9, I can take a equal to instead of the divisor 2, if I take b and uh, 4 which is the quotient, I can write q itself and the reminder 1, I'll replace it by r. Now, I'm, I'm trying to generalize. So that we can write this using variables. So now it will look like. How will it look like? It will be A equal to B Q plus R. And this is same as dividend equal to divisor into quotient plus the reminder. So there is nothing here. This is almost like fifth, sixth standard level, fifth, sixth grade level discussion. We just we are just going to give it a different name to it like Euclid's division lemma, what it's all about, you'll understand very soon. And there is nothing new. We are just giving, going to give it a new name. This generalized using variables is called Euclid's division lemma, which is nothing but if you state that it will be like this given positive integers a and b, there exist unique integers q and r satisfying a equal to bq plus r, where 0 less than or equal to r less than b that is the reminder r can be 0 but it will be less than the divisor b. Now going back to the chocolate example we had the first example we had 7 chocolates so once you fix that number 7 and 3 chocolates per box that's also fixed then it is obvious that 
the number of boxes which you can take and the left out chocolates they are also getting fixed by default that is why the word unique integers is used in this explanation because as there will be only one set of solutions it's it's very easy to understand i hope you are getting it what is that when the in that example when the number of chocolates are fixed when the number of chocolates per box is fixed the number of boxes which you can take out is also getting fixed and what is going to be left out and number of chocolates that's also getting fixed so there is actually nothing new this is something which you've been doing for quite some time now 